Hi, everybody. I uh, just want to do a review of the stock market uh, for the next week or so. Try to do some predictions here um, and discuss uh, what's been going on with you. So we've been in a pretty serious downtrend since about start of October. Um, and then we had this uptrend um, that started uh, right at uh, 1 a.m. in the morning, actually. Um, so I kind of came in here and just started to rise up uh, and started by the following day. Um, looking positive too for two days straight. So interestingly, we have a kind of a mid range here. Um, I'll draw a cross kind of a horizontal line here to show you where I'm talking about um, horizontal. So this horizontal yellow line shows it about 36.90. Um, so we've been kind of fluttering around that uh, ever since the 3rd of October. So there's been some highs and maybe a little more lows. Um, and we're kind of heading down into a lower section here. So we didn't quite make the new highs um, here um, on the 18th. Um, so that kind of, um, you know, if you look back to the 5th, you can see we didn't quite make it to that new level. Um, and you can see MACD shows uh, us kind of going lower here as well. So the earning reports this week don't look too bad already. Uh, you can see Tesla is uh, positive, Johnson Johnson, Procter & Gamble. Uh, many of the largest ones uh, look pretty good um, and you can see all the way Netflix looking pretty good um, and so on so there's quite a number of companies here um, in the top uh, market cap uh, you know in the billions uh, that look quite positive so even with those positive earnings you can see Tesla here down about six percent for the week um, and you can also see the Charles Schwab Corporation down uh, almost eight percent for the week uh, and so on um, you do see uh, banks up here uh, doing pretty good Bank of America uh, and JP Morgan Oracle doing pretty good as well um, and even Microsoft doing slightly positive for the week um, and Apple slightly positive as well so uh, so some pretty good news in this range but Tesla looking pretty bad here uh, Taiwan Semiconductor looking pretty bad um, and uh, Thermal Fisher, some Union Pacific, um, and then way down here, Abbott Laboratories. And you can see here, uh, in terms of larger companies, um, number of US dollars average traded, uh, Apple way up here, uh, slightly down. Uh, NVIDIA looking like it's doing slightly positive. Amazon, slightly positive. Microsoft, slightly negative. Netflix, slightly negative for the week. Um, and AMD up here, slightly positive. And some good news here for uh, IBM, AT&T, and Lamb Research. Oracle looks pretty good. American Airlines are, excuse me, AA doing good. CRM, Salesforce, um, you can see a couple others here. So there are really some uh, interesting moves here happening. You can see that uh, we went through a major downturn uh, up until about June. Um, and then there was an upturn here and then another downturn that was even worse than the upturn. So we're kind of still at that. We're kind of at a point where we've kind of decided uh, is this going to continue to be another downturn? Um, we had a little bit of an upturn, uh, you can see in recent weeks, but this downturn uh, sure took us pretty far down uh, on the market. So the money has really been flowing out of the market uh, since about 8.16. Uh, you can see quite far down here. So in terms of weekly volume, uh, you can see we've kind of entered into a negative uh, weekly pattern here for a negative volume. So, and here's the overall map for the week, uh, just showing you what's been going on. Um, you know, it looks like uh, in general, a lot of the software companies have been doing okay. With the exception of a little bit of the semiconductors there. Um, and uh, some of the capital markets have actually been doing not so good asset management, you can see. Um, and then medical devices kind of having a little bit diagnostic, having some trouble as well. Uh, so a number of sectors doing okay, but a uh, number of sectors doing not so good. So about an even week uh, overall. So you can see here, uh, this yellow line we we're drawn in all the earlier charts uh, moves up slightly, uh, maybe to 3,700 uh, level uh, for the daily chart. So you can see here, we've kind of come down quite a bit uh, for the day and then into the next day where you've been kind of dropping uh, as futures uh, move forward. Um, so you can see we've kind of dropped here a little bit uh, at the end of the day. So when you look at the last five days, four or five days here, uh, you can see, uh, you know, going into Monday, we were 
were kind of in an upward swing. Uh, and then Tuesday was kind of this downward day. Um, with also a little bit of an upward section, but then there's a downward section at night. Uh, and then Wednesday was pretty choppy, but also down. Uh, and then we had a little bit of an up phase today, uh, followed by pretty significant downward phase. So this took us quite a bit, uh, you know, this took us pretty high here. Um, but then we ended going so much lower uh, than even the uh, average uh, here that we see on the yellow line of 3690. So we're actually just slightly below 3700. Um, and this could continue down a little bit. Um, it's hard to say uh, when you look at the 15 minute chart, um, you can kind of see some uh, changes as we look at 60 minute chart. Uh, let's look at the four hour chart to see if we see any changes here. So in general on the four hour chart, we're still looking pretty negative on the MACD. Uh, so overnight, uh, that's looking not so great. Um, and you can see some positive activity on the daily activity, but we're still in the negative land. Uh, for MACD here. And you can see on the four hour chart that the, if you divide the day into two halves, uh, the start of the day was actually a little bit more positive than the half, second half of the day. Um, so there was some upward signs here, um, and but yet we're still kind of going lower here, uh, perhaps because of what happened um, here on Wednesday. So Wednesday looked pretty negative all throughout the day. And that negativity really started on Tuesday. Um, you can see that this uh, downward leg here was starting in the start of the morning here, followed by a pretty positive leg, but didn't quite make it uh, back to the tie here. So that was kind of an interesting day for trading. So my analysis for the week ends with uh, a little bit of a negative view here, just because you know the MACD doesn't look so great here. Uh, you can see that we do have some positive volume here still left, uh, kind of lingering. Uh, but uh, basically the volume was pretty negative uh, basically on Wednesday and Tuesday. Uh, when you look at the volume overall, you can see the volume was slightly more negative here. Uh, and you can see the force vectors. Uh, it doesn't show up as clearly. Uh, you kind of have to use a 15 minute chart maybe to look at the forces here, but you can see uh, we did actually pick up in force today. I was actually anticipating force to drop a little bit, um, but that force increasing to me shows that we might have an increasing downtrend uh, heading this way, uh, which doesn't look so great. Part of the problem is Thursday and Friday last week, you can kind of see if you take Thursday plus Friday, you basically end in a negative trend here, um, which shows you this right here, right? We had a little bit of positivity there. Uh, and then some more positivity um, on Monday. Uh, but uh, that just didn't quite uh, last. It's looking like it's kind of falling off a little bit. So we might even end up uh, into lower territory coming in on Friday. Um, this looks like this candle is kind of dropping a little bit here. What I really like about the volume charts is they show a much more even perspective. Um, you can see on this last Thursday, Kind of a more positive perspective, but uh, and then going into uh, Friday of last week, you can see uh, kind of a negative uh, downward trend here. So this really took us quite far Friday. Um, now we actually are starting uh, this Friday kind of at a similar level as last Friday. So this kind of dropped quite significantly um, and that could drop, uh, let me measure this in terms of uh, percentage points. Uh, but we could expect potentially a 1.9% drop in the market uh, for Friday for tomorrow. Um, and the upside of this market is really looking up here, which is about 2.4%, right? So, uh, you know, and then this could even drop even further on Friday. Um, but the earnings reports, uh, as I've been showing you earlier, uh, looked pretty good. So I don't know about this uh, being so bad on Friday. And Friday we do have Verizon, American Express, pretty big here, um, and a few others uh, that we can see. Um, but mainly Verizon and American Express, pretty big for uh, Friday. Uh, since Apple here and Nvidia are the, pretty much the two biggest players in the market, uh, right now in terms of uh, volume. Let's like, take a look at them uh, really quick. Uh, so you can see Apple's actually been doing quite good uh, this past week and even last week was doing pretty good uh, despite the market uh, a little bit down down today 
um, into this new uh, extended hours. But uh, you can see uh, that this is kind of dropping off a little bit. The, the wicks here are kind of dropping, and you can see on the MACD also it's kind of dropping there. Um, and on the force index, we do see some more force uh, kind of coming in here um, with a little bit of a drop off in recent days, but you can see that this was quite negative force uh, for a while here and we kind of accelerated uh, into that and then we kind of accelerated maybe into a positive force. So Apple's showing kind of a positive trend here, um, which is interesting. Uh, let's look at NVIDIA really quick, NVDA, uh, and do the same kind of analysis. Uh, so you can see NVIDIA even looks even more positive uh, than Apple, um, at least on the force index here. Um, and you can see uh, that the trend in general looks a little more positive as well on the MACD, on the four hour chart. Um, and money flow should also be looking pretty positive. So you can see the money flow is probably coming back in here, uh, somewhere around in here. Um, and we're kind of at that level again. So we might actually make it up a little bit higher. We're still kind of in negative territory uh, for the money flow. So the money's still been in general flowing out of the market. Um, but it is heading towards a positive range, and we could see that into uh, 1025. Uh, so there's kind of a possibility for uh, some positivity there. Now, if you look at this chart here, uh, Netflix was perhaps one of the worst uh, ones uh, for this past week. Um, uh, let me just double check on this. Let's do change from one, one week performance. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, the one week performance will be a little bit more accurate uh, to see. So, you can see AMD actually is what I would, what it would we want to check here. So, we're kind of checking NVIDIA, which was positive, Apple was just slightly positive, and then we're going to check AMD. So, on the four hour chart of AMD, you can see uh, that it just hasn't kind of gone through the positive stages that uh, Apple and NVIDIA have. Um, it's kind of getting more of a range down in this lower level of around $58 uh, per share. You can see uh, money flow also looks like it's kind of been tapering off a little bit, kind of peaked almost on the money flow uh, right here. Tried to regain that, uh, tried to regain some of that uh, back into here, but didn't even get it close. Uh, to the price level. So uh, you can see that this money flow level is kind of pretty important right here as its own uh, level of support or resistance, whichever way you look at it. Let's also take a quick look at Amazon and Microsoft since those were highly traded um, and moved significantly. So you can see Amazon here. So Amazon actually looking quite positive, uh, at least in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, you can see uh, they did a pretty big move here um, on the 18th. Um, and then kind of fell off a little bit uh, ever since that. So looks like, you know, trying to challenge the price level of up in here of 134 seems a little bit optimistic to me um, to make it up there. But um, there was a challenge to that. Didn't quite, it was trying to make that level back into here. You can see they were trying to challenge uh, this level even and that didn't really reach, but it did according to volume. So you can see that the volume here uh, under those two candles was a little bit more than that last move. Uh, so this move here um, actually had higher volume slightly than that move. Uh, so there was, it, uh, and then there's followed by other positive candles in here. So that made for the money flow to be slightly higher on this move than that move. So you can see um, there that that was a little bit higher um, on the money flow. Uh, but uh, and then the MACD kind of getting into positive land here again um, was quite negative uh, throughout most of this and it didn't really even make it that positive. Um, you can see that this last move wasn't quite as strong as this last move here. Um, at least it shows up on the MACD as well. So these moves getting not as much, each positive move kind of getting less and less, meaning there could be another downtrend here for Amazon. Now let's look at Microsoft here. They're also pretty big. You can see uh, in terms of uh, the x-axis here, uh, their US volume uh, being quite large, market capitalization uh, 1.8 trillion uh, dollars. So good news for Microsoft is that this last move that we had uh, on the start of October was a pretty strong move, stronger than this last move. So that was good. Um, however, this move was not as strong as uh, this last move. However, it was stronger than this move. So 
um, this move here uh, was just so low um, that it didn't really count as a higher move. Um, so this one kind of uh, paced it out a little bit, just a tiny bit. You can see some positive trend of volume kind of coming in here. Um, there was quite negative volume here, and it just kind of uh, accelerated into positive volume, uh, peaking right around there, uh, and then some negative volume again. So this negative volume didn't quite make it to the level that we saw back in here with price, um, and then quite a positive move. So maybe that's one reason why um, this made it up pretty high again. So you can see uh, the positive move in volume being pretty good positive there. Um, now on the force index, you know, we got a pretty positive move here followed by a very negative move, um, one of the more negative moves. So this really was a pretty bad downtrend uh, for Microsoft uh, in this range starting in about first week of October, second week of October. So uh, you can see there, you can see on the 7th all the way to the uh, 12th, not looking so good. Um, and then for some reason, a pretty volatile day. Um, slightly positive, but actually the candle came out uh, positive there. So we are heading into earnings season. Uh, that will be very interesting to see uh, this last earnings report um, of the year. Um, that will probably be uh, very interesting. So both Meta and Google being slightly up positive here. Exxon, Chevron, um, some other ones, Lamb Research, IBM. Um, those are all would be worthwhile checking. I'm going to just check Google really quick here. Um, for a final check, uh, we'll just look at Google here. Oops, Google, there we go. Um, and you can see uh, some more positive changes here, uh, looking pretty good uh, on the positive side, uh, but then they're kind of dropping off uh, in recent days. So I don't know where that's going right now. We can check the MACD. Um, <coughs> MACD shows this being slightly lower. Um, even though we got a higher high, uh, it just wasn't quite making it up to the next level. Um, and as a result, I think it's going to maybe drop. Uh, but we have had quite a turnaround in the MACD. You can see um, from this level here, we were quite negative. Um, and this was pretty negative days, uh, quite a number of days. Uh, pretty negative. So that's about all I have uh, for right now. Uh, at least on the four hour chart for the SPY, you can see. We're still in positive territory. Uh, moving average is negative. Um, so this is still predominantly a negative downtrend. Um, but uh, in recent uh, days here, uh, particularly around uh, the 17th here, you can see that the, that was a pretty positive week. Um, so we still saw some negative stuff, at least in the last five to four days here. Um, and then that could even bring us down further, uh, but we'll probably oscillate in this range for a little while because we see that this is uh, kind of a level of support and resistance um, on the charts. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the study. Uh, let me know if you got any questions or comments. I'd be glad to talk with you more in detail. Thank you.